Good evening. Today we are discussing what is type of the control system. It is not types of control system. It is type of the control system. It is not types of control system. What is mean by type of the control system? Generally, many students in my experience I have seen they have committed a lot of mistakes during type of the calculations. Whenever they are committing mistakes in type of the calculations, 100% there is a chance they are also committing mistakes in error calculations. In this way, I am explaining this topic that is type of the system, how to calculate in control system as well as how to determine error depends upon the type of the system. Type of the system basically defined as number of integrators or number of open loop poles at origin. Immediately the first interview question is why type of the system is not applicable to closed loop system. Basically open loop systems are highly stable. Compared to closed loop system, therefore type is explained with respect to open loop system. Even though they given closed loop system, no matter we want to convert that one into open loop transfer function, then we have to determine type of the system. Why it is not applicable to closed loop? Let me explain first the definition. Type is nothing but number of integrators or number of open loop poles at origin. We know already in control system, integrator is 1 by s, differentiator is s. Integration of impulse step, that is going to be a lot of discussion. It is a ocean. When you are joining in Sai Medha or when you are listening my classes in Sai Medha Koti, automatically you will understand all these things. Now coming to type, definition is number of integrators or number of open loop poles at origin. Suppose, it is 1 by s power n means n number of integrators are there. If n becomes 0 that is going to be 1 by s power 0 which is equal to 1. I can say no integrator or no open loop pole at origin called type 0 system. Suppose n equal to 1 that is going to be 1 by s. I can say one integrator or one open loop pole present at origin that is called type 1 system. Next. If it is n equal to 2, 1 by s square, 2 poles present at origin in open loop system called type 2 system. But in closed loop system already we know when open loop, when pole is present at origin in a closed loop system, that system is marginally stable. When poles are repeating at origin in a closed loop system, that system is unstable. That is the reason why type is strictly not explained with respect to closed loop even though in examination halls they are tempting you by giving closed loop transfer function first you must convert that into open loop transfer function then you have to determine the type of the system that is very very important this is the reason why the type is applicable only for open loop systems suppose question is like this closed loop transfer function is 5 by s square plus 4s plus 5 for unity feedback, what is the type of the system? Generally, options they will give A0, B1, C2, D3. Generally, people are thinking that in a closed loop transfer function, no integrator, that means no 1 by S, it is type 0 system. Generally, people are thinking 100% is wrong answer. Why? Because type is not applicable to open loop. It is strictly we are discussing with respect to closed loop. Therefore, sorry. Strictly we are discussing with respect to open loop. Therefore, convert that clo closed loop transfer function into open loop. The shortcut for that is numerator that is 5 divided by denominator that is s square plus 4s plus 5 and then subtract numerator from denominator. Hence, open loop transfer function is 5 by s into s plus 4. There is one integrator in open loop transfer function. Hence, B for Bengaluru will be the correct answer. That is called type 1 system. In this way, in AE exams, you won't lose any marks if you join in Sai Medha Koti. It is my promise. 
to make you the answers 100% perfect and clean. Therefore, my dear friends, whenever they given closed loop transfer function, first convert it into open loop transfer function, then determine type of the system. This is one concept. Now, it is for unity feedback, everybody can do. But whenever non-unity feedback is given like this, question will be k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4, this is a forward path gain and feedback path gain is s plus alpha, whenever this kind of systems are given, calculate type of the system. Now so far what I explained, type of the system is applicable to open loop transfer function, open loop means forward path gain, if you see in forward path gain, there is one integrator that is type 1 system, no that is wrong here. 100% wrong answer. That concept is applicable to unity feedback system. Previous question you have seen, this is applicable to unity feedback. Means whenever H of S is equal to 1, that is the concept directly we can say in number of integrators, type of the system. Whenever non-unity feedback is given, that means in the feedback path gain is more than 1 is given or other than 1 is given. How to calculate type? I am explaining that first we have to develop closed loop transfer function. This is the step 1. Closed loop transfer function is g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s k i s into s plus 1 into s plus 4 divided by 1 plus k by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4 into s plus alpha. This is g s by 1 plus g s into h s from this k by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4 plus k into s plus alpha. This is the closed loop transfer function. Now, after converting into closed loop, convert that one into open loop by assuming unity feedback. This one we have to convert, not that one. So, this one is open loop transfer function shortcut by assuming unity feedback is numerator that is k divided by denominator s into s plus 1 into s plus 4 plus k into s plus alpha minus numerator expression that is minus k. Now, in this entire denominator, what is the common of S is S power 0 called type 0 system. So, for unity feedback, directly by looking the number of integrators in open loop, you can decide the type of the system. But for non-unity feedback, don't decide. First, convert that non-unity feedback into unity feedback. Then, determine open loop transfer function. After that, check the denominator common power of S. If it is 0, type 0 system. If it is 1, type 1 system and so on. This is the concept behind calculation of type of the system. By this procedure, 100% there is no mistakes in any examinations. Thank you.